welcome back to another video. We are in the car again. We are actually heading to pick up my sister. We're gonna do a whole cozy fall day in Nashville fall vlog this video, so I'm very excited to bring you guys along. She and I are gonna go to a local pumpkin patch, which I'm very excited to go check out. It was recommended by one of my coworkers. I do need to run to Sephora, so I think she and I are gonna go to Sephora. And I actually ran to Target right before starting to film this, so I can do a mini Target haul. Now that Ulta is at Target, which if you don't have a Target that has yet to have an Ulta in it, y'all, you need to find one. It is so convenient and it is everything. Oh my God. I got some skincare and hair stuff, so I'll be sure to share that. But yeah, I'll see what else we throw into this video. It's just cozy fall day in Nashville. The leaves are all changing. Um, yeah, it's going to be super fun. Go grab a cup of tea or like a pumpkin latte or something, cuddle up and let's hang out. We're at the pumpkin patch! <laughs> Come over to our house one day. We're gonna have some more. <laughs> it's a baby, mom. Oh my gosh, so cute. Hi, Ember and Natalie. <laughs> Okay, I need a new Ilya serum. Okay, that is way too light. Okay. Okay, so far I've got the Huda Beauty Easy Bait powder in Cherry Blossom Cake. And then I've got my True Skin Tint foundation from Ilya in 2.5 Molokai. I think I'm going to wait to update to get new bronzer and concealer and all that. We'll see. Okay guys, <laughs> it, is, it is a few days later. I think I last picked up the camera on Saturday. It's now Wednesday. And I just realized I never did a Sephora haul or a Target haul for you guys. So we're going to run through that real quick. I actually just got home from lunch with Hunter, running some errands. So first things first, I only got a few things at Sephora. <clears throat> I ended up returning the foundation that I was testing on my hand. I think that I vlogged while we were at Sephora. <laughs> This is so silly, but I, it didn't even register that I wasn't testing the serum, the, what is this, the super skin tint. This is a product that I use every single day. I swear by it. It makes my skin look so hydrated and 
very glowy and youthful. I'm obsessed. This is like my third or fourth refill on this product. I had to get new shade because we're in fall and your girl is not as tan as she was in the summertime. So I did that. I also picked up this new, for me this is new, maybe you've been using this for forever, but this is the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in Ultra Peach. I had never seen this company before, but I know their, is it like their setting spray or something, is super viral. I love their packaging. I think it's so pretty and fun. Very like Valentine's Day vibes. And honestly, I've been wearing this powder for, I guess, three days now, and I'm obsessed. I like this more than I did the Laura Mercier setting powder or whatever it is, um, which I had before this. This stuff, it keeps everything in place. I'm a greasy girl, y'all. Like, I am a greasy girl. <laughs> Thank you to my Latin ancestors. I'm going to be looking so good when I'm 45. <laughs> At least that's what my mom always told me. Um, <laughs> but I will say setting powders, pressed powders are not all built the same. This I have worn through workouts. I have worn while having a sweatshirt on and having the heater at work blasting on me. This stuff is so good. I definitely bake under the eyes because I have really creasy, greasy under eyes, if you know what I'm saying. Obsessed. Like, you need to try this. I know they also have their own version of the, peak, the pink um, setting powder, which I would love to try. Last but not least, I got this Summer Fridays... Um, dream lip oil i love these the last one i had was the i think it was called petal or rose i forgot what the shade was love that with like an everyday lip liner shade so good but i was really wanting like more of a cocoa color maroon like plum color for fall and winter i have it on now i <laughs> love it I prefer this to their gloss because this isn't greasy like and sticky like the gloss is by Summer Fridays. Anyways, it's just like super hydrating, really, really pretty, adds a really nice tint to your lips, um, but still looks super natural. So obsessed with this stuff, very excited about that. And then they gave me this little sample of the replica by the fireplace. This scent is so good. And I, I'm really wanting to get a scent for fall and winter, so may end up purchasing that if I love it all the time. So that is what I got so far at Sephora. Let me show you what I got at Target real quick. Okay, got all the goodies here rounded up. I've already been using these because I totally forgot to show you guys <laughs> before I started using everything. So I will start with this big guy in my hand. I really needed some body wash. It's the brand Bioma. This is their brightening body wash that treats dull and dehydrated skin. Prebiotic complex of niacinamide and azelia, azelaic acid. I like it so far. I mean, the smell isn't amazing, but it just smells very clean. Like it doesn't have a florally scent or anything to it really. But I really like it and it's been great so far in the last few days I've used it. On to the next. I'm trying a new uh, dry shampoo. This is the Collab Dry Shampoo Pro <laughs> Dry Shampoo Pro Series in Blonde Corrector, which you're like, Allie, you're a brunette. You're right. <laughs> I am. But I was actually this weekend, which you'll also see in this vlog, we're going to a Halloween party. And I'm dressing up as Beth Dutton from um, Yellowstone. And I got these this like little set of clip-in bangs. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and the bangs match the ends of my hair, but because I haven't had my hair done since April, I haven't gotten my roots touched up, which they desperately need. I just have been putting it off. Um, I was like, you know, if I get a blonde corrector, maybe that'll lighten up my roots enough so it'll look blonder. I'm gonna tell you right now, I tried that, didn't work. But, so I've been really liking this. It's very lightweight. Um, and I really like the packaging too. I think it's kind of cute. So trying out a new one and what else? I also got this recently, the Argan Oil of Morocco uh, Weightless Dry Oil Mist just for my ends after I get out of the shower just to help lock in some moisture again. And it smells, it smells so good. 
Like it smells like when you get out of the shower and you just smell so clean and fresh and like florally. I could like drink this. It smells so delicious. Like it just smells like when you get out of the shower and you get a whiff of like steam after you've showered with all your products. I picked up the Ordinary Retinol 0.2% Emulsion because I was wanting to get back on a retinol routine. If you're a skincare girl, skincare girl you know, uh, retinol is super, super important to anti-aging and to help, um, to help encourage like collagen production in the skin and to turn over cell, or and to encourage cell turnover to produce, you know, collagen and all that good stuff. So, and then this one was a wild card Hang on, get my face out of it. This is the Origins Ginseng Energizing Gel Cream with Caffeine and Niacinamide. I feel like I used to have like a perfume or a candle or something that smelled like this. It just, it smells like orange peel, like citrusy, like deep, like it tastes like, or tastes like, it smells like biting into a super juicy orange and it smells like spicy ginger oh it just like when it says energizing gel cream with caffeine it just like it really wakes you up I've been using it since Sunday and I feel like it's already been brightening up my skin a lot I do this in the morning and at night it's a nice little gel texture so it soaks right in and uh, yeah that's gonna conclude the Target and Sephora haul Probably won't be picking up the camera again until maybe Friday because I'm actually going to dinner with one of my girlfriends on Friday night. Um, we're going to go into Nashville and I'll probably get dressed up, show you what I'm wearing, and then Saturday night is our Halloween party. So we'll definitely be bringing you guys along for that. And so I will see you guys in the next few days. I'm going to go put this all back in my shower. <laughs> Also, excuse the most random outfit ever. I <laughs> didn't feel like taking all the jewelry off, so I left everything and just put on some comfies. So, um, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> hey you guys, it is Friday night. I got home from work and I rushed to get ready. This is the look for dinner with my girlfriend. Literally threw it together so fast. I realize I literally have stains on my pants, but I'm not going to show you that. Um, sorry, it's really dark, but I've just got on this cute uh, vest from Zara, some old H&M pants that I cut, some Amazon Prada dupes that are so cute in this Ugg baguette bag, and a headscarf that one of my girlfriends brought me from Morocco. Let me show you my makeup in the bathroom mirror where it's a little brighter. Hang on. Okay, sorry, mirror is kind of a mess. This is the makeup. I went for more like simple brown tones and this pretty lip combo that is literally the NYX lip pencil in espresso and the Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil in the color shoot, I don't remember. This is the pencil. There we go. There's that one. This is the lip oil. It's so good. I just picked it up at Sephora, as you saw in that haul. Obsessed. But what do we think? Cute, simple little outfit. Um, yeah. I will try and bring you guys to dinner. We'll see how much I actually end up filming. But this place looks really cute, so maybe I'll try and get a few shots for you.
pretty. But Hunter wanted burgers for lunch. Duh. <laughs> so I made him a when double burger. When your wife burger. asks, do you want a cheeseburger? The answer is always yes. Made Especially when they put an egg on it. A sweet and spicy chili sriracha aioli. A double cheeseburger. I actually cooked it all in Wagyu. Beef towel. I did a little farm egg on top. Good job. Looks good. Yum. You look good. Thanks, honey. And yummy. <laughs> It is a bit later. I finished cooking my soup for the week, which is so freaking delicious. It's this beautiful kale sausage and white bean soup. It just feels like a warm, cozy hug when it's nice and cold outside and rainy like it is today. Um, and I'm now starting to cook dinner. I'm gonna make a little uh, ragu with a red sauce, maybe some wine and pasta for dinner may or may not make a salad to go with it i'm not really sure but anyways i'm working on that right now let me show you the soup now that it's done cooking because it's so good oh my gosh this is like my hyper fixation soup at the moment it's just i had it for meal prep last week and i'm having it again this week because it's just that good so yummy I'll be sure to leave the recipe for this in the description box down below. It smells so good. It's so hearty and creamy and yum. Also, slight change in plans. We were going to go to that Halloween party tonight, but Hunter is really just wanting to stay home and I am not going to ever deny staying home because I can be very much a homebody, especially when it's like super... I don't know cold and rainy like it is today it's very like dreary here we've just been at home and cozy and hanging out i've just been cooking all day and it's been so nice i'm getting some laundry done um i don't know it just doesn't feel like a day where i'd want to get ready to go out to a party because we don't even really we don't even really party anymore honestly we don't drink a lot hunter definitely doesn't drink um <laughs> at almost 30 i can barely handle like two drinks any more than that I'm kind of like tapped out so you know we just don't party like we used to so instead we're going to um, watch a kind of thriller movie that I was recommended and I'm gonna make some yummy pasta for my mother-in-law and Hunter and I and we're just gonna have a cozy Halloween themed home Halloween themed night here at home and honestly, it sounds amazing. And I'm very, very much looking forward to it. And we're just gonna get all cozy on the couch. <laughs> and some wine as well and I thought to myself might as well get yourself a glass girl <laughs> it's so funny the older I get 
the more I just love being at home. And I just love being in my own company and I love cooking and doing things like this at home or bringing people into my space. And I prefer it more to going out and you know, doing all that. Not that that's not fun and there's a time and place, but it's just, I don't know, I guess it's the phase of life I'm in that I'm just so grateful for my family and my friends and my husband especially. And I just, I don't know, just love my life I guess. And it's been really sweet lately and things are really good and things are gonna get even better, so. I love being at home. <laughs> Maybe I'm lame, who knows. I'm gonna let my ragu simmer for a while. And the noodles are already done. Pasta's already done, I should say. Um, secret, secret pro tip that I learned a while ago. Um, I had, what is this, Pecorino Romano. Ignore the sad looking basil in the back. <laughs> I actually just sliced off the rind and I always cook it in my sauce when I'm making a red sauce of some sort for pasta. It just infuses it with most delicious, nutty, cheesy, salty flavor. And I just chop or pop it in there, the rind, and I stir it in. Um, and it just gives the best flavor to your sauce. And then I put in some whole basil leaves as well. I'm going to let this simmer down so it gets nice and thick and delicious. I just poured the wine in there. <laughs> it's going to be so good. I'm let that cook down for a while and it's going to be perfect. Alright guys. <laughs> in the car yet again. I wasn't sure if I was going to vlog today because I've been working on editing this video. But it's the following Wednesday. Um, I am in Nashville, about to walk up and hang out with my girlfriend. We're gonna go get lunch here in this cute little um, neighborhood called Villa Place in Nashville. I actually used to work here years and years ago when I first moved here. We're gonna go grab some lunch at this yummy looking Mediterranean place called Sadie's. Never been, always wanted to try. We're gonna go do that and then go for a nice little walk and just catch up and chat. Have some girl time, it's gonna be super nice. Um, so I thought I'd bring the camera, just maybe add in a few more little clips. It was super overcast and rainy this morning, but it's definitely warmed up and I'm wearing a long sleeve <laughs> and leggings and a vest. So that should be interesting, but I'm probably gonna try and hit a workout class after this, later on this afternoon. So I just thought I would take y'all with me to lunch. I am back home now. I hung out with Stephanie and then ended up hitting up TJ Maxx. Anyways, y'all, I think I'm gonna stop the vlog here. It's time for me to get in the shower and go eat some dinner and work on this video so I can get it up for you guys, hopefully by this weekend. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. <laughs>